This part of the show deals with the uh, retrospective portion. It really looks at Brodner's work as a continuum, uh, beginning with his work in the 1980s right up through the present. So it shows you the broad swath of history uh, in his work. It's really called The Presidents and Their People. And it deals with the various presidents that he's covered and the staffs that he's covered. The first images that I really want to talk about in this section are the images of Ronald Reagan from the toward the end of his presidency. The image over here of Ronald Reagan as part of a series that he did for the Washington Post magazine called Liars of the Year uh, during the Iran-Contra scandal. Reagan's nose gets very big. Of course, he did lots of liars in that year, in that series, and they all had big noses. The other one that I like to do is, I like to talk about is part of a series that he did on the Republican convention. Um, but it really bespeaks what Reagan to, to Brodner was all about. He's actually showing the monitor of Reagan speaking when he flubbed the line that, has, that he said was, facts are stubborn things. Uh, Reagan talked about that in the line. Of course, Reagan flubbed the line and said, facts are stupid things, which, of course, opened up a wealth of uh, opportunity for Brodner. And um, he puts that in this piece. As we move ahead in time, we get into the work of George Bush I. Another theme that pervades Brodner's art is the theme of global warming. He's concerned about it. Uh, and it began in his work with this piece on the bottom here, which is from 1992, where it says George Bush reveals himself to be a major source of greenhouse gas um, as well here. It's silly, it's funny, but it's serious at the same time. And that's a big part of what Brodner's about. He came back to that same theme in 2007 in the piece called Ozone Man at the top here. And so you have George Bush the first in bed with Barbara Bush saying, so Barr, who won the Nobel Peace Prize this year? And she says, ozone man. And that refers to a comment that George Bush the first made in the 1992 presidential campaign describing Al Gore as way out, left wing, out of touch with reality as, quote, ozone man. So it's quite interesting to see Brodner come back to the same themes. And that's why they're juxtaposed together here um, in these two images. I'd like to move us ahead a little bit further in time and go into the Clinton administration. We'll talk more about Clinton later, but I've got, we've got a couple of great images here of the Clintons. One of the best examples I can think that sums up the Clinton health care push in 1992 and 1993 is this piece, which is called Say Ah, Hillary and Healthcare. And you can see Hillary's got a stethoscope in her ears and it's wrapped around her tongue because, of course, she's become tongue-tied. Um, the thing was such a colossal failure that even Brodner, who is very pro-healthcare and pro-liberal ideas, um, had to admit that Hillary really blew it on this one. Or the illustrated man, satirizing Bill Clinton's fundraising attempts in 1996, corporate fundraising attempts. Really quite something to see, um, where he's really skewering Bill Clinton. Or, in the 2000 presidential campaign, a great piece is called Woody, which of course is a double sort of entendre on Al Gore's interest in global warming, natural uh, ideas, and of course his wooden personality. So he combines them all together and this Woody with his teeth being these little birds in a birdhouse here as well. Really quite something to see. The creativity is what I'm really referring to in Brodner's work in this section. The gears are constantly going in his head. Um, it's really quite something to see. And that's what, one of the things that resonates with us as the viewer, the insight that Brodner brings to bear. The next section deals with the Bush administration, the eight years um, of George W. Bush. Um, some really important images are these right here. This one is a take on a popular culture image. He loves to use um, movies, and you'll see this later. Uh, this one's based upon the gangs of New York the popular movie from the early 2000s. And what he does is, of course, he takes the characters from the movie and makes caricatures of contemporary political figures. Karl Rove, uh, Mary Madeline, Dick Cheney, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And in fact, here he's done something quite wonderful with Karl Rove as a croupier running the Washington table. It's called Karl Rove running the table, 2003, with the pawn of Bush in his hand. It's really quite devastating, and Brodner can be extraordinarily devastating when he wants to be. Brodner's favorite image from this period is this piece. He keeps it up on his living room wall. It's called the Bashanos. And again, 
It's a popular culture reference. But what Brodner does in the Bushanos is use the characters from the very popular HBO series, The Sopranos, and juxtaposes them with the Bush administration, hence the Bushanos. And so he goes through and we read all the various char characters. And if you're interested and in influenced at all by the uh, Sopranos, you actually take humor in his juxtaposition here uh, with these char characters. Now this is a specifically commissioned work by Jan Wenner, the editor of Rolling Stone. It's based upon a 16th century print by the German Renaissance artist Albrecht Dürer. And what it's called is the Four Horsemen of the Apocalypse. And so he's taken Dürer's Four Horsemen, death, famine, plague, um, etc., and juxtaposed them with the faces of Bush, Cheney, Paul Wolfowitz, um, etc., in here as well, bringing death, disease, and pestilence to the world. Uh, dates to 2005, and is really one of Brodner's best crafted pieces, technically crafted pieces, and Brodner is a master at that. Another sort of sarcastic slap at the Bush administration is this one on the top called Bombs and Rice. And Brodner is cognizant of the fact that uh, Condoleezza Rice is a concert pianist in real life. And so he's taken that idea of her playing a piano and made a band out of it of all the figures of the Bush administration. And she is playing and singing. And if you notice the music, it's all bombs.